everyone, it's me. Um, I decided to do an elemental oracle reading. I don't know what came over me. After I got the daily tarot, the RD with B, with egomaniacal, I'm like, I think people need to know what kind of feminine and masculine energies they're dealing with or, or the message that their masculine and feminine are sending to them as well as just a love card, just a general love card. I'm going to read just the, the general meetings out of the book, okay? And if anything else comes in, it'll come in. But let's just go ahead and let's get started. Um, something just called me to do this. This may not mean anything, but if it does, I hope it helps some people out there. We're going to start out with the beautiful earth signs. Earth signs, what do we got going on with you? This could... I would say take this, since this is a, a masculine feminine read, I would say take this maybe for the next week or two, um, just as some, you know, energies that your masculine and your feminine are trying to tell you. See what we've got going on for the earth signs. This is the gods and titans deck for the earth signs. Let's pray over the deck. Okay, there is your gods and titans. Then we're going to pull one from the Isis Oracle. This is the feminine energy that we're going to be pulling. Earth signs, feminine energy that we're going to be pulling for you. Go ahead and pray over the deck. It's going to be about five to six minutes per reading. And let's do the Oracle of Love or the Love Oracle deck. Two quick shuffles here. Just going to pray over the deck. All right, Earth Sign. And if someone could go ahead and put the timestamps in, that would be wonderful. Okay, Earth Signs, what is your masculine trying to tell you? Jade Emperor, organization, organization. Okay, this might be time for you to get a little bit more organized, Earth Sign. Um, it, it does happen. Let's go ahead and look at it. Half the time is spent just finding the freaking... <laughs> The guy's character here in the book. All right, Jade Emperor. Streamlining, reordering, and decluttering will clear the way to a flow of natural and effortless action. The Jade Emperor, or the Heavenly Grandfather, as he is also known, is one of the most beloved and most courted of the Chinese Taoist gods because of his benevolent protection and supreme organizing ability. So this is something that you may be uh, needing right now. This is what uh, your masculine is telling you right now to get more organized. Even if you are a feminine energy, say that you, you know, are female and this is the masculine, this is where your masculine wants you to be just a little bit more focused is in the organization side. Now, what is your feminine side trying to tell you? Soul retrieval, deep soul healing with the goddess. Deep soul healing with the goddess. So what do we have going on with soul retrieval? Okay, we have Isis Healing Goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of your of you lost through trauma old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had. So what the feminine is trying to say is tap in to that creative nature, allow yourself to accept what is bubbling up from within you and release that out into the world. 
So that is what I believe is happening here for the feminine side. So your masculine is saying, get organized. Your feminine is saying, be creative. Tap into uh, those hidden parts of your soul that maybe you've left in the past and recreate them and reintroduce them into the world. What is the love card? Knowing without knowing. Knowing without knowing. Let's see what's going on with knowing without knowing. Sometimes the heart knows in a way that the concrete mind and memory cannot. We feel something that we cannot quite express. Perhaps others are quick to dismiss it as meaningless whimsy or irrationality. Yet that feeling beyond the mind's capacity to fully perceive is the ancient truth of your greater self reaching through time and space to connect with you. Like a phone line extending from a more ancient place in the world, you can hear it crackle perhaps, not in the clearest reception, yet you can also sense the love traveling along that telephone line. The things that you feel and what do not appear to make sense are the things to trust most now. You are being guided by a force far greater than your own mind. An ancient divine brilliance is reaching to you, communicating with you. You may not hear or understand it with clarity as of yet, but you can feel it. Trust what you feel. Trust your feelings. Trust your feelings within your love life. Love of family, love of friendship, love in, in partnerships and relationships. Trust your feelings. If something feels off, allow yourself to go into that and ask yourself questions. You know, if you feel like you need more love, go into that and allow yourself more love to be received by yourself, by treating yourself, by doing whatever it takes. There's a feeling within you that must be able to be satisfied because there is a knowing. And you can't put your finger on it, but you have to discover it. Okay? All right, my beautiful earth signs, that's what we got going on with you. What do we got going on for the air signs? Air signs, what do we got going on with you? Air signs, oh, I'm doing love first for some reason for the air signs, that was weird. All right, air signs, uh, love might be on your mind or someone may be talking to you about this a lot, or there might be some loving energy between you and someone else that is beyond words. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, let's pray over the deck. There's your love card. Let's get into your masculine energy. What is your masculine trying to inform you of? Or what is your masculine trying to let you know? What is the advice for the masculine? For the air signs, please. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. All right, let's pray. There is... Gods and Titans. And let's get the Isis Oracle. Isis Oracle. I may have to start just shuffling these not on the table because it really does move that. <laughs> the camera. So I, I may do that with the next ones. All right, air signs. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. There is your Isis goddess. All right. Let's make sure we got them all nice and square here. All right. Air signs. What is your masculine advice or your masculine trying to tell you? Apollo inquiry. Inquiry. Is someone asking you questions, air sign? Are you asking someone else questions? The masculine generally refers to to a more like work life um, emperor type energy, father energy. So inquiry, 
Apollo, inquiry. What is your masculine trying to tell you? Look for the truth in the situation, air sign. Ask and your questions will be answered. Take the time to uncover and connect with who you really are and what you really want. Use your inner wisdom. So what's happening here, air sign, is your masculine is saying you have every right to ask questions. You have every right to make sure that the actions you're about to take are based on an informed mind, okay? So something regarding inquiry is very much coming into the forefront for the air signs. What about your Isis? Queen of heaven, blessing from the divine empress of the skies, the empress of the skies. The empress of the sky is like the queen of swords. So air sign, you may very well be in your element. Let us read up on the queen of heaven. The queen of heaven. Queen of Heaven. The Queen of Heaven, the Divine Empress of the Skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now. As a man or a woman, you have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into the world. So a lot of you air signs, whether male or female, have this feminine message coming through saying you are the conduit of the messages. You are the conduit of mercy, love, and compassion for others. You are the one that is going to announce, that is going to display, that is going to talk, that is going to document, that is going to um, acclaim out into the world how to be centered in thought centered in person in order to make the best decision for all involved. That's a beautiful energy air sign. I love that energy for you. What is the love card? Distant shores. Distant shores. You might be traveling air sign. You might have a loved one that's traveling. You might be away from each other for right now. You may have a long distance relationship as well. Let's find out what is going on with distant shores. Distant shores. Your soul is yearning for more. The divine is all and there are no limits to what can be experienced by the soul. The soul is so hungry for divine reunion that it will seek out whatever is needed to get there, even if that means journeying to a strange or exotic shore for expanded experience. You may be feeling this soul impulse as an urge to travel, to try something new, to let go of limitations of your mind in how you see your current life, and to begin to see the new in what was once familiar. The art of the passionate soul is to be able to see that which is new and fresh, even in what is known through sometimes we can use the help of a fresh vista to inspire the mind to open and the heart to be ready to receive more. You know, this can also be known as kind of the experimental card as well. So if you are in a relationship, you might want to jazz your relationship up in some way by introducing something new and refreshing to it. Or this could be used simply traveling for love, a uh, long distance relationship, like I said, but it is certainly here. So that is definitely something to be aware of. All right, my beautiful air signs, I hope you like this reading. We are going to move on to water. Water, what is it that you need to know for your next week or so, however long we're talking about here? All right, I'm just going to do it this way so I don't shake the table so much. Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, what is your masculine trying to tell you? Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, what is your masculine trying to tell you? 
All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, let's pray for the deck. Here is your gods and titans. Isis is next. What do we got going on for the water signs for the Isis? Goddess Isis. What do we have going on for the water signs? All right. Water signs. It's a prayer for the deck. There is your Isis water signs. And let's take a look at your love water signs. What is the love energy for my beautiful water signs? And guys, whether you're in a relationship or not, use this love energy as you loving yourself in both relationships and single or within a relationship, even with family and friends. Sometimes that will make sense here as well. Well, this wanted to come out. We're just going to keep it. It's what we do, right? All right. Water signs. What do we have for you for your specific message from your masculine? Mithras. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. So water sign, you may have been a sacrificial lamb. Someone uh, around you may have been sacrificing themselves for you. Maybe this is a, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Sacrifice is needed. Sometimes when you want to attain a goal, you are going to have to sacrifice time, energy, and money. Let's see what the gods and titans have to say with your masculine's message to you with Mithras. All righty. Mithras, sacrifice. These two pages are sticking together. Okay. Examine the balance between healthy sacrifice and being totally selfless. Consider establishing a code of honor and harmony. There is little agreement about the true origins of the cult of Mithras. This is partially due to its hidden nature and the way that its rites and rituals were communicated through a secretive hierarchical structure. Whether Mithras is a god created in Persia, India, or the ancient Roman Empire, he is a deity of action, honor, and sacrifice. And his mysteries were passed carefully from one initiate to another initiate. What we know from the dark, holy caverns left behind, is that men numbering no more than 40 at a time, met in the deepest wombs of the earth and conducted worship and rituals to bring to life these symbols of Mithras. Worshippers killed a sacrificial bull. This is known as the Tarotony. <laughs> okay. The sacrifice was a symbol of the laying down of life for a higher purpose. Wow. Okay. He may be validating the sacrifices you are making and supporting you in your work. However, there must be balance. Many of us continually sacrifice our own needs and become completely selfless as a result. This can breed resentment and neediness, which is extremely damaging to our own growth. Uh, water sign, I'm telling you, I've, I've never read it that far. The sacrificing of a bull. Water sign, is there a Taurus in your life? that needs to be set straight? Is there a Taurus in your life that you need to stop sacrificing for? Something to think about. That may only be for a few of you. All right. What is your feminine energy coming through the goddess Isis? Past life, present power, the many spiritual faces of you. Past life, present power, the many spiritual faces of you. This is about your past, someone from your past, possibly a Taurus person born in May or April for that matter. Did they sacrifice you? Did you sacrifice them? Now is the time. If that bull 
I mean, look at this, guys. I, I, I can't help but see this. You can see Mithras on the, on the shield is sacrificing the bull. This is a Taurus. You may have to put a Taurus in their place. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just the way it's coming through. All right. Nothing against you beautiful Tauruses out there. I'm just saying uh, there may have been, may not be you Tauruses listening to this, but there may be other Tauruses out there that push their weight a little bit too far. Now it's time to um, get in the game, advance, call their bluff. That's just what I'm hearing. But it could be someone with Taurus-like uh, characteristics as well. All right, past life, present power. My beautiful water signs. When the soul is growing in service to humanity, in service to the great feminine and her call that all beings be healed and free, it gathers internal resources to assist on the path. These resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities and you are guided by the oracle of past life present power to be open to shifting internally and in your experience of your own levels of power and spiritual ability. Talents, abilities, and powers wish to be restored to you now from past incarnations. This will help your path. You will often be able to recognize this because you will feel some instant fascination or deep interest for a culture, culture, philosophy, heritage, or even a place on earth or beyond, which is deeply compelling. This is your intuitive recognition that part of your soul connected with this passionate interest is being drawn into integration. At such times, there can be emotions, feelings, and even phobias or fears that temporarily arise. You may even find your taste for food and clothing and your sleep or other habits change quickly and noticeably for a time. These can all be signs that a past life energy is being integrated. So water signs, if you feel that there is some sort of change in your every day, you're getting up earlier, you're going to bed later, you're doing something different, you're incorporating something new into your life, you're, you've got more energy, whatever it is. There is a past life integration that could potentially be happening here. What I would do is meditate and pray for your recognition of that past life integration, of that past life gift. And then you will be able to incorporate that with the knowledge and the awareness in order to be successful. What is your love energy? The swan. The swan. Remember, the swan is was an ugly duckling. So some of you water signs may have started out life ugly. Maybe you thought you were ugly. Maybe you were very beautiful, but maybe you you thought you were ugly. But then you turned into this beautiful swan. So you might be doing something to change your appearance, water sign. To be honest with you, um, you might be taking care of yourself a little bit more, um, you know, doing anything that can help your appearance, make you feel more beautiful on the inside and out. Whatever that is, remember, beauty starts on the inside. It starts with a mindset, and then it works its way out no matter what you do to it. You could be the most beautiful person in the world, and ugly is all get out, all right? Beauty is on the inside. Just have to make it match, which, which is on the outside, okay? And when it's truly there, people will see it. All right, let's see what we got going on with this one. Gliding with grace, nothing is withheld from this beautiful soul. It can discern what is genuine, authentic, loving, and what is from the ego and parading. Even though the most impressive words or gestures, this soul can sense the holding within of a core of fearful separation from the divine. With grace, it allows all to be and moves amongst this world with inspiring light and grace. Paramahamsa, great swan, the soul that moves the souls of others is reaching to you now. The guru, the teacher, the light, the love that is all. You are blessed by sacred divine relationship with the essence of love itself that adores you and wants only for you to be free. So there could be something in here, water sign. Again, something may be holding you back. And you are to free yourself of that. You are beautiful. 
on the inside. Let that glow. Incorporate that lifetime, those prior incarnations, all of those gifts you have. Get them integrated into self so that you can finally break free from being the sacrificial lamb, being the, the one who is too selfless. All right? That is the message for the water signs. And water signs recognize if someone like that is around you as well. All right. Last but not least, the beautiful fire signs. Fire signs, what do we got going on for you? For your week or two, I guess, since this is a masculine feminine reading. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you want this every couple weeks, maybe I can do that. I don't know why. They just like literally, I'm just, I'm like, I have to do another reading. I don't know what it was. I just had to do another reading. All right. Maybe I just needed to get it out. <laughs> All right. Let's pray over the deck fire signs. There is your gods and titans energy, your masculine energy. What's going on with your feminine energy? What is the message your feminine is trying to tell you? What is the message your feminine is trying to tell you? I think they want me to take that one. Okay. Sometimes, you know, we'll sit, we'll pray, but other times if there's a card that just sticks, it just, I have to move forward. All right, fire signs. What about love? Whoa, there we go. There's another jumper. We're going to take it. Okay, fire signs. What do we got going on here for you? What is your masculine trying to tell you? Ah, pooch. Fear. Fear. Are you fearful of something? Is your masculine saying, notice when you are fearful? Be aware of fear around you. Are you letting things get to you to a point where you cower in fear and you cannot move forward? Let's see what it has to say. Ah. Examine your fears. What is there to be afraid of? You are being asked to confront what frightens you. Apuk says the Mayan god of the dead. While most cultures have god ruling over the underworld or death itself, the Mayans had a number of gods ruling over nine levels of hell, and Apuk was the most feared. Apuk doesn't just show up quietly for you or even wait patiently for your death. He hunts you normally pictured as a skeleton or with bones on his head and wearing bells. He is the most senior of all Mayan death demons, living on the lowest level of the underworld known as Mitnal Apuk raises up and stalks city streets at night looking for his next victim. Death is something people are often afraid of. Sometimes we simply fear the death of things, also known as change. Yet death and change are universal. Apuk's energy is very much about the fear surrounding change and the hold it has upon us. We fear what we feel powerless to change, standing strong against any fear, feeling it, shining a light on it, and confronting it is a lesson from Apuk's legend that we can learn from. Wow, fire sign. What is your goddess? What is your uh, feminine energy trying to tell you? The Eye of Horus, Awakening Divine Perception. And no wonder your feminine is trying to communicate with your masculine. Your feminine is saying your perception may not be accurate. Others' perceptions may not be accurate. You must look through the eyes of objectivity. And make sure you're not feeding into the fear. Let's see what Isis has to say. Eye of Horus. Hmm. 
The Eye of Horus brings divine perception, protection, and insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight, that are awakening and growing now. You have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. The Oracle of the Eye of Horus is a stamp of divine encouragement, approval, and protection. If you have been wondering about your divine path, about whether you have genuine gifts of healing and insight, and insight to share, about whether your inner perception is actually true insight, and whether you will be protected spiritually in certain matters or situations, then this oracle is confirmation for you. Ezra, what are you doing? You know, he always acts up during the fire sign reading. Because <laughs> he's a fire sign. He's a Pisces Aries Casper. Ezra, come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna come up here and say hi to the fire signs, Ez? Come on. Come up here. Say hi to the fire signs. Say hi. Say hi, I'm an Aries. Say hi. I'm a Pisces Aries Casper. Because you have a rising sign Pisces. Yes, you do. Okay. You go down. Okay. So, your perception of something regarding fear, your feminine is saying, listen, your perception is accurate. Have no fear. No matter what you see, you're protected. Okay. It's actually a beautiful message, but there may be some sort of fear around you right now because your masculine is coming in and basically saying, Hey, fire sign. Uh, what's up with the fear? Whether that is fear within you or that is fear within someone else. Use your divine perception to see through what is going on. What is your love energy? The spaces between the words. The spaces between the words. Sometimes there's a lot said in those pauses during conversations. Let's see what happens here. When we look for guidance, we often look for words that clarify, reassure, and help us find our authentic path through the chaos. Yet there is also guidance in the spaces between the words, between each letter, between all happenings in our lives where there is nothing to be said, where there are no lines to be colored in, where there is just openness. Those are the times when we need to freestyle. We need to do or not do based on what is happening for us right in the moment. Often there is far less to do than we think. Often we don't need to think. There is a space forming around you now. Sometimes when we sense this subconsciously, we feel exhilarated and excited, anxious and nervous, not even sure why. There is a sense perhaps that we wouldn't mind having a map of this unknown terrain or perhaps we are happy to wing it and make it up as we go. Either way, there is space just to be. It is the receiver for the divine presence. If you have a lot of space of unknowing around you now or within you, then just know that there is a lot of divine presence to be received. It can't be explained, really. It happens between the words, and yet without it, there wouldn't be any words, any guidance at all. The oracle speaks to you. Enter the space and let go, for your time to receive is upon you and be blessed. So what I am sensing here is someone may have lost a loved one um, and a space was created. But this loved one had a contract, perhaps, just like everybody, whether they left you physically uh, from your home, from your presence, or left this world, whatever it is, they had a contract. They knew what that contract was about. They let go with love in their heart. And it was meant to be. No matter what was on the outside, no matter if there was fear associated with it, no matter if there was, you know, maybe your perception was different than their perception, whatever it is, whatever this space is that was created in your world know that it is only there for you to receive further from okay 
All right. Well, guys, I hope you liked this uh, oracle, ma masculine and a feminine oracle reading. I, I do wish you the best. Uh, take care of yourselves and we'll talk later. Take care.